it's no lie that me holding the the standpoint that alternative medicine doesn't work is an unpopular one. You can just tell by looking at pretty much any of the comments um, I get when I do these types of videos. And I think it's a quote uh, from a Guardian article a couple of years ago. And it sums up <laughs> alternative medicine quite well. There's no such thing as alternative medicine. There's medicine that works and there's medicine that doesn't. And once medicine is proven to work, it's no longer alternative medicine, it becomes just medicine. It's gotten to a point where there is so, so much information, well, so much misinformation about uh, alternative therapies that it has become so, so unethical. You have all these people claiming, oh, this treatment does this, this treatment does this, and they've got no scientific evidence to back it up. And then, you know, this is where the excuses start coming, and I'm sorry, but they are excuses. The first one is, oh, um, the FDA is suppressing it. No, they're not. Right, the FDA comes down on, on pharmaceutical companies all the time. Name me, name me, or show me doctors or, you know, papers that are purposefully being suppressed by the FDA. I, you know, <coughs> show it to me. Show me, you know, show me the paper that got supposedly suppressed by, by the FDA. It's never happened. Because, first of all, these guys, when they do these, tr these things, they've got to go through trials. When alternative therapy goes through these trials, it fails. And this leads us into the next excuse, is, oh, science can't account for all the variables. Sorry, sorry, but just go away and Google how many variables science has to, or scientists and engineers had to go through in constructing the Hadron Collider. And tell me you cannot and tell me, and try, then come back and tell me that science can't account for the variables. I'm sorry, but it can. And people living in a dream world. And as I've said before, I do not care that this, um, that my stance makes me unpopular to people. I'm sorry, it's the truth. And I'd rather tell people the truth than blatantly lie to people. Like these, you know, practitioners of, you know, alternative medicine. Because that's what they're doing. And, you know, they're killing people because of it. You know, as I've said before in the previous video, when people die, it's not, oh, it's not put on their, you know, death certificate, death by quack. It's, you know, death by whatever cancer they had or death by whatever uh, treatment that could have easily be treated by, you know, modern medicine. You know, as I said, I'd love to see a study done like that. But, again, that won't happen. And again, the alternative therapies will be up in arms if that happens. But, uh, these these people, seriously, and it's why I started doing this, because there's very few people doing it. But I want people to come and make informed decisions. And, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, at the end of the day, it's your decision. But there is no scientific evidence to support any, any of these alternative treatments. And I'm sorry if you don't like hearing that, but it's the truth.